Lydia, played by Rebecca Ryan, has turned Adams, Sam Robertson, life upside down after telling his wife, Sarah Platt, Tina O'Brien, the pair were having an affair despite nothing actually happening between them. The lawyer's life is only going to get worse in upcoming scenes on Coronation Street as his vengeful ex-girlfriend begins to destroy other parts of his life as she wants him to be left with nothing once she is done with him. Ahead of her exit from the ITV soap, Lydia's attention could turn to Imran, Charlie DeMello, as she realizes she needs an inside man to help her bring her revenge plot to a close. The drama continues next week on the weeknight serial drama after Adam has pleaded with his wife to take him back over Lydia's lies about the affair. Sarah is unwilling to budge, believing her new best friend over her husband as she knows he has cheated on her in the past. Unfortunately, this means the lawyer is losing many allies on the cobbles as his friends and family doubt whether it is possible he betrayed his spouse, with the police getting involved and having caught him in his ex-girlfriend's flat, he is taken in for questioning. He tries to convince the officers the troublemaker has coerced this whole situation and he doesn't know anything about the charges she has racked up on a cloned credit card. It is yet to be seen whether they will believe him but back on the cobbles, Lydia and Sarah come face to face in the underworld factory. A distressed Lydia tells her friend how Adam forced his way into the home and completely trashed the place in a fit of fury. Sarah is horrified to hear about what her husband has supposedly been up to and later, Adam turns to the one person he thinks is in his corner. The lawyer explains his situation to Imran and he is sympathetic but unfortunately, news starts to circulate about Adam. Clients begin to take their business elsewhere and Imran is angry to discover it's because of his colleague's latest relationship dramas. Things go from bad to worse for the lawyer as he soon discovers has been reported to the solicitor's regulation authority. This means he is highly likely to lose his job as Lydia's quest for revenge takes a deeply unsettling turn by making him jobless. Knowing he needs to take action, Adam tells his colleague he is going to take a step back from the business so nothing more affects Imran. However, could it be Toya Battersby's, Georgia Taylor, partner knew all about Lydia's plans and wanted to get in on the action? With Adam having caused some drama for the firm recently and with a wedding on the way, Imran's head might have been swayed to turn on his colleague. As Adam believes it was Lydia who reported him to the solicitor's regulation authority, it might have actually been Imran. Wanting the solicitor's firm to himself, Imran could have agreed with Lydia he would do his bit to make Adam's life a misery. The lawyer could have got exactly what he wanted with Adam stepping away from his duties but can he convince him to hand over his share of the business? Imran could manipulate his vulnerable friend that if he gave him his share of the firm, Lydia wouldn't be able to mess with it. With nothing left to lose, the Barlow man could have agreed but this means he might not be able to get it back from Imran in the future. How well do you know your British soaps? How many times has Ian Beale been married in these tenders? What is the name of Bianca Jackson and Ricky Butcher's son on EastEnders? On EastEnders in 2002, who accidentally ran Jamie Mitchell over in his car which caused his death? How many times has Corey Steve McDonald been married? What happened to Emily Bishop in Coronation Street? Who murdered Maxine Peacock in Coronation Street in 2003? Question mark which incident in 1993 killed off four characters in Immerdale? When did the show stop being known as Emmerdale Farm? On what day did Holly Oaks air its first episode? What was the name of the much-loved Coronation Street pet dog who was put down in April 2020 after 14 years? Question mark 1996 saw the arrival of one of Holly Oaks' all-time bad boys and rival of Kurt Benson, but who was he? 
who is the longest serving character on Coronation Street, who shot Phil in EastEnders. How many fires have there been at Corey's Rover's return? Get out of my pub, you're no soaps fan you're either too young to remember the big lines or have better things to do on weekday evenings casual viewer you watch them sometimes so you kinda know what's been going on die hard fan you love watching the soaps so much your entire week is planned around when they air by the end of the week, Lydia is reminding her ex-boyfriend she isn't done with him yet as she gets ready to make her departure. However, in a shock twist, could it be her alliance with Imran could prove to be a huge mistake as she turns on the lawyer? Not wanting the police to follow her lead, she could blame everything on Imran, making it seem as if he had a vendetta against Adam. She would point all the evidence towards him and although Adam might want to claim he is innocent, he could discover his colleague was throwing him under the bus. As Lydia is nowhere to be seen and with the mounting evidence against him, could this be the end for Imran? It has been reported the actor who plays Adam, Sam, is going to be staying on the show and so the character could be more focused on rebuilding his life than helping free Imran. An unnamed source explained, Sam is a huge talent and bosses are thrilled he's signed a new contract. He's got some explosive storylines coming up with Adam facing losing everything because of his deranged ex Lydia, they told The Sun. But will he be able to live with the guilt of being responsible for Imran being put behind bars for a crime he didn't commit?